Hello! So first video of 2021, first keyboard of 2021, I am once again ignoring my friends and family's concern for my financial responsibility. But hey, more content! I purchased this on Monday. By Tuesday, I started regretting that I bought it. And if you are part of the mechanical keyboard community here in the Philippines, you will know why. But I do think it's very important to discuss the merits of this keyboard on its own. So that's what I'm going to be doing. As far as I'm aware, there's no software for this particular model from Royal Cloud, so I'm going to be looking at it and reviewing it on its own. I'm not actually reviewing it, this video is a bastardization of that definition. Uh, since we're just looking at lighting effects right now, and there isn't really much to commentate on, I would like to take this opportunity and say, what the fuck? <laughs> I say that with as much grace and as much love as I possibly can because a month ago I was at 70 subscribers, now I'm at a thousand. I don't know what happened, but I just wanted to tell you guys that if I were an anime schoolgirl, I would call all of you my pong champs. <laughs> I regret saying that, I've once again disappointed everyone who loves me. Anyway, regarding the feature of my channel and the way I approach videos, I think the things you've seen of me beforehand are very polished and curated compared to how unhinged I usually am. So I'm gonna try to show that energy more in future uploads. So yes, 2021, year of shittier videos. Moving on, let's go back to the keyboard and I'm gonna show you a comparison between the lowest brightness setting of the Walmir K66 versus the highest setting on the RK837. It's good enough, honestly. The main reason why I bought this keyboard anyway is for the Bluetooth capability and I have not experienced any input lag during gaming or during writing. It's 100% A-OK. -okay. I think the biggest con that this keyboard has is that it does not have multimedia keys. I already tried googling and experimenting on my own to see if like it was hidden in a second layer or something. No, there's none. And that's inconvenient to me personally. <laughs> it's a small thing, but still it's a quality of life sort of thing, you know? Maybe you'll find that less aggravating for the fact that this keyboard has built-in macro recording, etc, etc. So you can just switch between regular typing mode and like a game mode. I'm just demonstrating right now how you can record the macros. Honestly, I might play around with it. I personally don't use macros when I play games, but maybe I can figure out something that will be useful to me. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up from now on because we're gonna go into stabs and like Sound test, yay! Overall, it's a pretty decent keyboard, but if you don't have it yet, I suggest holding off because this just came out in the market. It's the Tecmer B68. It's almost exactly the RK837, but with hot swap capability. So I'm going to try and get my hands on it, uh, and that's all right now. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.